Welcome to the How to Configure the PSR TriSafe Safety Controller for Light Curtain Muting Functionality video. Simple muting functionality can be described using a diagram. Two muting sensors can be used. Their beams are angled through the light curtain. As the pallet rolls towards the palletizer, it is detected by the beams and the light curtain is muted. When the pallet is beyond where the muting sensors can detect it, the light curtain is once again activated to prevent any unwanted access. A depalletizer application will be referenced to be able to relate to a real-world application. On the depalletizer, there is a light curtain to prevent access to the hazardous parts of the machine. If the light curtain beams are broken, then the machine will go to a safe state. Normal operation for this machine requires that a pallet is driven through the light curtain to be unloaded. In this case, we do not want the machine to power down into the safe state. The light curtain needs to be muted for the proper amount of time to allow the pallet to pass. Note that on the depalletizer, there are muting sensors, a light curtain, and a muting lamp. There is also an emergency stop and a safety door interlock. When the muting sensors detect a pallet, the muting lamp turns on to indicate the light curtain is muted. Once the pallet has passed, the muting lamp turns off and the light curtain is once again fully functional. A single safety controller can be used for this muting functionality along with any e-stop or safety door that are part of the depalletizer. This demonstration will focus on the muting aspects of the machine. The PSR TriSafe needs to be configured using the SafeConf software package. SafeConf can be downloaded from our website at no charge. It's fully functional and there are no licensing fees or any other charges. To begin the project, open the Safe Function Blocks window. Scroll down and select the Light Curtain Muting Function Block and drag it into the project. Since the Light Curtain will have dual outputs, an equivalent block is required. Wire the equivalent block to the A underscore IN input of the muting function. From the Safe Functions toolbar, add a true to activate the equivalent block. Also add a true to the activate and enable inputs of the Light Curtain Muting Function Block. Drag the inputs from the representation of the safety controller to the equivalent block. The light curtain outputs will be wired to these inputs. Then drag two more inputs for the muting sensors and also the muting function block. Another input is used to wire the output of the muting lamp. The reset for this application is manual and requires an input. Set the MMT to 10 seconds. This is the time required for the pallet to roll through the light curtain. Note that the DTE is the time allowed between one muting sensor seeing the pallet and the other muting sensor seeing the pallet. For this application, the default value of one second will be used. Add an output to control the machine power and to turn off the muting lamp. Select Check Project to allow for the SafeConf software to check for errors. Select Download to send the project to the PSR TriSafe Safety Controller through a standard USB connection. When the download is complete, the confirmation button on a safety controller must be pushed, then click on OK. By selecting the Show Online Values icon, the status of the I.O. can be seen. When the pallet passes, the light curtain outputs turn on and the muting lamp goes off. Please note that adding e-stops or safety doors to this project can be done easily by dragging these additional function blocks into the project. Next, add the proper input function blocks to the project. Activate all of the function blocks by adding a true. The reset lines can be connected together. The outputs for each safety function can be anded together.
This concludes the safety controller demonstration for muting functionality. For additional information, please visit www.phoenixcontact.com slash trisafe.